All right, guys, welcome back to another video of Shaman J. So this is a, over a year with the same iPhone. Uh, I think the iPhone 10 is probably the one that I, I use the most of all the iPhones, keeping it for almost two years or a little over two years, probably, I think, before getting rid of it. Uh, but this one uh, got it in March of 2022, and we're in June of 2023. Yeah, we're halfway through June. And this phone has been great. Uh, it is. It has been great. The battery finally dropped uh, a little bit, uh, and, I, and I wanted to. Let me go straight to that right now because uh, I've, I've talked, seen a lot of people, and I talk to people, and their battery. And I often wonder what they're doing on their battery to get it to drop so fast. Like some of these people's batteries after a year is already at like eighty percent. Uh, and because I, I posted, I think I posted on Twitter or something a while back saying, "Hey, you know." what's your iPhone battery health and in some of those numbers a lot of people were at 99 I believe uh and are close to that but some people were in the 80s I'm like how what are they doing on their phones but you know a lot goes into probably your battery health uh when you're when you're dealing with the iPhone because it depends on what you're doing on your device and also depends on how many apps you have I don't have a lot of apps on my device folks I only keep I keep the same apps on every device whether it be android or ios i have these same apps on the device i'm super boring like that most would say i only have like a couple of games well there they are right there me and my wife play that every now and then against each other uh and those those are super easy games you know it's not nothing real intense you know as far as pushing the graphics or anything or the processor in these phones but my use comes a lot with cameras. I, I do a lot of stuff with the cameras, a lot of recording and things like that. And, you know, moving to the iPhone 14 Plus's cameras, which in fact, I am recording this video with the iPhone 14 Plus. Um, it, 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 the cameras on the iPhone, iPhone 14 Plus, I've already pointed out a long time ago when I got this phone, how, the, the, how it has some advantages over the 13 lineup. And mainly for me, it was that cinematic at 4K video. Uh, man, that 4K video at cin cinematic, is is much better than the the 1080p that's on this one uh the 13 lineup so you know you don't have any options for for 4, 4k that will be up in this top right corner uh but still these cameras are they were the be all compete with top dog cameras iphones were just it for quite some time and, and now you've got phones that drop that are just slaughtering the game this is just one of many uh but you know i I really like this this green color and I told you when I got this this will probably stay because it was a very eclectic color and I thought it was nice so um, and also I still have the pro I have the the blue pro model I got it in a case here this is why I rock it and I have the same case on my um, phone I'm recording with obviously and I also have one for this one too uh, but uh, I just like that I like that case that that you know gonna be the, it's, it's the truth man uh, but nonetheless it's it's really nice to be able to keep a phone for over a year and i'm still at a really good capacity on the battery uh, and it still functions perfectly fine just like normal everything is great and it's it's going to be up to date for quite some time now my wife actually moved on to the 14 pro max terabyte 14 pro max um and you know, it's to me, she has the better cameras. That that's it. And the battery life on the 14 Pro. Remember, I had a, I had the purple 14 Pro Max and the four, the Pro as well. And the battery life just wasn't there on the 14 Pro Max, in my experience, based on the 13 Pro Max. Uh, and then you have phones like the 14 Plus, which are just incredible. Um, they they are the, man. The battery life uh, on the on the 14 plus is incredible folks it is incredible and you'd be hard pressed to say you dislike the battery on the 14 plus lineup it, it is just really good now the pro lineup that is where i ran into some issues and you know the battery was good it wasn't great like this phone so aside from that the 14 um her cameras the better the cameras are better on the 14 uh pro lineup and the 14 14 lineup period they're just better uh, and um, I think overall, other than that, we've we've got just the same phone. I mean, the performance on these phones are nice. Uh, shout out to Poetic, uh, spoiling it for everyone by unboxing the Pixel Tablet here. Wow. 
So we all should be getting our the recording this video. I don't have mine yet. I'm waiting just like you guys. Um, but it comes out, I think, on the 20th. Uh, yeah, I think it comes out on the 20th officially. But there it is. Um, I'm recording this video and I happen to see this. And whoa, I'm excited. New project start. But yeah, man, um, that's the performance on here is is great. No, no ifs, ands, or buts. It's a great performing phone. And really, it's just going to come down for me as a person I am is how well are the cameras doing in comparison to other cameras. Now, while these now are not the best cameras iPhone has to offer, the 14 lineup, it picks up, you know, where this one kind of left off. So let's take a look at those cameras before I get out of here. Uh, and um, this is a quick one. I think this this phone is still very relevant. I think if especially we have there's people out there that still have an iPhone 4. I mean that that seems to be more a popular phone because it kind of reminds me of the iPhone 4 design is close to this design. Uh, but I mean it's up to you to determine whether you want to switch out every year. They do have that program where you can change out every year. Uh, but for me, some phones are just keepers. I try to keep them as long as possible. Uh, some collection purposes but you know this color was actually really eclectic when it came out and I'm hoping that Apple finally brings a red version deep red version because I will buy it for the pro lineup no ifs ands or buts uh, uh, towards the end of the year last year and the beginning of this year all those rumors came out of and leaks people started posting their versions of the red iPhone and you know we're hoping that it, it does look like the it's a deep red uh, like a really deep candy apple red that's gonna be hot and I'm gonna buy it instantly. So if you have the 13 Pro Max, I'm sure, tell me what your battery health is and then tell me how your phone's holding up. Did you do any of the public betas? I did uh, and everything's good. So let me show you these cameras before I get out of here and we're gonna close out on a positive note. Just your man Jay, I'll see you in the next one. Take care. We've been having weather that has been over 100 every day and so I haven't been outside much. I've been working out indoors and it's kind of relaxing, man, but um, this is the front camera cinematic video. It is very bright out. Like I said, it's over a hundred degrees early in the morning. Uh, but this is cinematic video, something where Apple shines outside. They do very well. Man, there. Man, remember my community behind me? It's all it's houses here. I'll show you. I'll show you right now. Yep. Remember, there was nothing here. Now there's houses everywhere. Took away my beautiful view. Ugh. Took it away. And so here's cinematic video now on the rear. God, it's so bright out here. Oh my God. Cinematic video on the rear. Looking really good. Loving, uh, loving the video still on this phone.